Hello everyone and welcome to this free training. Today I have a very, very special presentation for you, which is Rendering for Architects, the ultimate starter's guide. So if you're just starting out with rendering, you probably have these questions. Which software to use? What computer do I need? What skills do I need to learn? And where do I learn these skills? And my promise is that by the end of this video, you will have a definitive answer for all of these questions. Let's start it with just a few statements that I want to make, which is that this presentation works for any skill level who wants to improve their renders further. Architects who want to train themselves or their staff or anyone who wants to learn a skill that you can charge thousands for. If you don't know me, I'm Melissa Zemi. I've completed over 150 projects in over 30 countries and I've helped over 3 million people online to learn realistic training. Plus, on top of that, my course has been endorsed by Enscape themselves, the company that actually made the software. I know what I'm sharing with you today works because I have experienced it myself and I have helped millions experience it themselves too. Let's get started with the first question, which is which software to use. In order to choose a software for any, you first have to choose a software for modeling which is basically where you input the 3D rendering engine to create the geometry. So a few options are ARCHICAD, Revit, SketchUp, Rhino, or 3ds Max. Now ARCHICAD and Revit are BIM software, and if you're an architect, you probably have some basic knowledge here because you can make all of the documents in one place, the sections, the floor plans, and even the 3D model. So it's good to have at least some basic knowledge there because most of the files you're gonna receive are most likely gonna be in this format. Then you have SketchUp, which is easy to use, it is easy on your PC, so it does require a lot of heavy hardware, and it is very affordable. Right on top of that, it is moderately easy, depends on what you want to create with it. It is easy on your PC as well, but it's not too compatible with a lot of rendering engines. And also 3ds Max, which I believe is very hard to learn for beginners. It needs an expensive PC in order to run smoothly, and it can be really, really, really slow with the rendering engines that it supports. Once you choose your modeling software, then we have to move on to the rendering software, which is where we will actually create the images themselves. At rendering software, there are two different types of categories. The CP rendering software, which are V-Ray and Corona, and the GP rendering software, which is Lumion, Twinmotion, DeFi Render, and Enscape. Now, there's a bunch of them, but these are the main ones, the most popular ones, and the ones that I would recommend to use I really wouldn't recommend any other software outside of these ones. With CPU rendering software like Corona and V-Ray, you have to keep in mind that they're very hard to learn, they're very slow, they need a very powerful PC, and this whole thing makes it very hard to reiterate. Because as an architect, you know that you will have a lot of design changes, a lot of input, a lot of feedback, and you have to keep in mind that if you're using these software, you won't be able to do that smoothly. Now, the quality of these is very good, like that is not arguable. However, there's a huge price tag that comes with the accurate calculations that these software offer. So keep that in mind. As far as GP rendering software go, Lumion is one of them, DeFi Render, Twin Motion, and Enscape. Lumion is easy to learn. It has slower render times. It has even slower animations, which kind of sucks because they're so long. It takes days to render a 30 second animation sometimes. It is an expensive software. It is very costly and it requires an expensive GPU as well. DeFi Render is easy to learn. It has a fastish render time. It's faster than Lumion, but it also needs an expensive GPU in order to run smoothly. Twin Motion, on the other hand, it is very easy to learn. It has slower render time and it also needs an expensive GPU. And Enscape, it is very easy to learn, it's very fast, it is compatible with almost any modeling software and it can be used at cheap PC. I mean, I myself started using it at $500 PC, which is very, very affordable in today's market. Now for post-production, once you choose your modeling software, then you also have to choose a post-production on top of the running software. So I have two options, which I believe are uh, the basic ones and the most popular ones in today's industry, which is Photoshop and Krea.ai. Now, Photoshop takes time to learn. It has a um, harder learning curve. It is It has more creative freedom, so you have a lot of different choices that you can input in your render. It is very, very good if you know what you're doing with it, but it's also more expensive because it has a monthly subscription cost. Now, Krea.ai can make your post-production in only one click, which is super, super fast. It, it takes literally a few seconds, a minute at most, but it has to be a because you do not have as much freedom on the decision-making of the post-production. After you have this brief of the software that you have to choose, here's my recommendation as far as workflow goes. I like to use SketchUp for modeling, and this is what I recommend to you because I said it's easy to learn and it doesn't require a very expensive PC. 
I use Enscape because it's super fast and the time to quality ratio is just insane. I've tried all of other software as well, but I just know this for a fact. It is not arguable that the time to quality ratio is incomparable with Enscape. And on top of that, we have that AI, which is for post-production. It is super quick in just one click you can get everything done. It is the ultimate efficiency workflow. You might say, why? would I learn this software? I need some proof. I need to know why this is so good. Well, for starters, Bjork Ingels Group actually uses Enscape and their chief technical officer or um, someone who basically is in charge of the software that they use said in an interview that they use Enscape in their office because it's so fast to reiterate. You can input feedback so fast. It, it just makes the whole design process a lot smoother. So Bjork Ingels Group and Norman Foster and Partners also use Enscape, which is insane. Now, as someone in this field, you probably have heard hundreds of times, like all of these 3ds Max nerds that tell you you cannot create realistic renders with Enscape, it's not good enough, cartoonish, blah, 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 whatever. Now, if Enscape fulfills the needs of the two biggest, literally the two of the biggest architecture firms out there, then who are we to complain about the quality of the software, the features and all of that that it has? Anyone who tells you that Enscape is not good enough, I can 100% bet you and I can guarantee you that they're not better architects than these two. So automatically, their whole opinion is invalid. Okay, so we got that, we can move on. What computer do you need in order to run the software? For SketchUp, you need a one gigahertz pr processor, you need four gigabytes of RAM and a modern GPU with at least 512 megabytes of support. So you, as you can see, the battery entry is very low for SketchUp. As well as Enscape, you only need Windows 10 or higher, an NVIDIA GPU or AMD GPU, which has four gigabytes of VRAM, which is basically an NVIDIA G4 ZTX, a 900 series or newer. All of these are very, very cheap components you will see later on. And then for Korea, all you need is a potato computer. Like literally that's all you need in order to run it. It's that simple. You can either go with a laptop or a PC. And I know that a lot of you have this doubt. And the reason is very simple. I totally understand you because a laptop is portable, but it is a lot more expensive for the same price with a PC, you can get more value, right? So you can get better parts. And on top of that, when the parts are outdated in a few years, you can change them pretty easily, right? So you don't have to buy a whole new PC like you have to buy a whole new laptop most of the times, right? So keep that in mind. Now, I just put some recommendations here. I found these in Amazon. The prices can differ depending on the country, depending on the time of where you're watching this. But these are basically a laptop under $700, a laptop under $1,300, and a laptop under $1,500. You can screenshot this, do some research on them, and maybe pick the best one. These are some of them that I found that can work very well with this workflow. Now, honestly, the $700 one will work perfectly fine, right? It will do everything very smoothly. If you wanted to get the, the higher end one, it's just because maybe you want a lot faster animations or stuff like that. But honestly, I can guarantee that the $700 one is going to work perfectly fine. Like that one has the same graphics card as I have on my computer right now. So just to give you a uh, right on it. So on top of that, I'm gonna also going to recommend you some PCs. These are under... $800, under $1,200, and under $1,800. And these are basically even better for the same amount of prices, approximate prices. But once again, you can try all these different combinations and pick the one that fits your budget. Now, once you choose your hardware, another recommendation that I have for you in order to make your whole workflow so seamless is to get an extra monitor. I myself use two monitors here, and it's just so good because you can have SketchUp on one screen Enscape on the other screen and you can see all of the changes in real time on both screens. If your budget allows you to do that, trust me, it saves a lot of time. But if not, it's totally fine. Let's talk about what skills you need in order to learn Renit. Well, there are a few basic ones that I always make sure you get in chronological order. You have to do 3D modeling in SketchUp, then you move on to composition, then the material setup, the lighting setup, and the color correction, right? So these are the components, the major ones, and within all of these, there's other minor components that make up all of these different categories. Well, now that you just saw the training, we're going to talk about where you can learn all of the different skills that you saw in action a little bit earlier. Now, when it comes to learning the skills of realistic rendering, you have a few options, but I'm going to talk about the main ones. Now, the first option is obviously YouTube. You can go ahead and learn on YouTube. And the good thing about it is that it is free, right? And it has a large library of videos. 
But the bad part about it is that those videos are not in the right order, right? That's one thing. And then they're not for your skill level. Like you might be a beginner who's trying to learn advanced stuff because that is the kind of video that showed up for you or the other way around. And that just doesn't match you and is a complete waste of time. Even if you find the right video, uh, the problem you're gonna have is that you're gonna run into ads that those have a lot of distractions. You also have no support. When you're watching those videos, I mean, most creators don't get to reply to your comments uh, just because they get so much. Like even me included, I cannot reply to every single one of the comments. And you just left stuck at certain steps. There's just too many distractions because there's just too much videos going on in the recommendation. I mean, how many times have you started watching a tutorial and then something completely else unrelated come up, comes up on the recommendation page, right? It just takes a lot longer as a process. Right, it just takes a lot longer. The whole result of this is that you will end up confused and frustrated as well. Now, let me ask you a question. If I had a solution to all of these issues, would you be willing to listen to it? If yes, hear me out. I've created the Rendering for Architects seven day program where you can learn Rendering for Architects in just seven days. Now, this program alone is worth $997. I have priced it at 498 before, but that's not what I am going to charge you. In the first day, you're going to learn 3D modeling. You're going to learn all the tools you need to know for modeling, custom assets that your clients can request, and you can learn secret sources of 3D models that I use that we don't have to model every single asset. On day two, you will learn the composition. Now you can set up all the camera views that we don't waste time going back to the composition you set up earlier. You will also learn the best ways to emphasize the projects and the design of your projects and basically how to get people to stop scrolling when they see one of your renders because composition plays a huge part in that and then you will learn how to use materials you will learn how to add imperfections to make materials look like just in real life and you'll also learn how to set up advanced materials like curtains glass carpet etc etc then you will learn how to set up lighting and on day four, you will learn the importance of age rise you will learn how you can use natural lighting to achieve photorealistic renders you will learn how to set up interior and exterior lighting because because this whole program covers exteriors and interiors which i believe most programs don't and then on top of that i will show you my library of hris and the best ones that you can find online to use them and then we'll talk about visual settings you will learn how to use all color correction techniques to achieve a balanced look for your renders you will also use effects like fog or wind uh, blue and just make the whole render a lot more dynamic and then on day six you'll learn how to create a nighttime scene and because there's a lot of times where a lot of artists or architects are requested by their clients to see how it will look at nighttime and they just have no clue how to render it out in a proper way. And then finally, we'll talk about how you can do post-production in just one click, combining AI tools together with Photoshop to just take your render in a whole different level, just like what you can see on the screen right now. On top of all of the structured program, we will get everything structured in an easy to follow way. You will also get the exercise files, which are over $10,000. These are over 50 exercise files that I have used over the past years that I've created for a lot of my clients myself. In all of these, you will be able to access how I set up lighting, how I set up materials, what kind of HRIs have I used, what kind of composition have I used, and this gives you direct access to even use them as your own work in portfolio. So you will get the seven day ready for architects program, which is worth $498. The exercise files, which are worth over $10,000, and the Rendering for Architects community, which is worth $98 per month, where you get feedback for your renders by professionals. That way, you do not have to guess, which comes to the total value to $10,498. And you can get all of this today for just $198. You can try risk free for seven days with 100% money back guarantee. If you want to learn realistic learning in just seven days, with all the benefits that I mentioned earlier, with exercise files worth $10,000, and with feedback from the professional community of 3D artists, make sure to click the first link in the description.